And so he's visited by three ghosts. The ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, and the ghost of Christmas yet to come. What? Uh, sorry, I just thought you were going through the... the... No. No? Okay. No. Just thought future, uh, probably less of a mouthful. I like yet to come. It just fits better with past and present. Fine, okay. Uh, well, Charles, as I'm very fond of saying, you are the author, and this sounds like this is what the makings of a wonderful book. Plus, he's Jewish. He's what? The main character. I'm going to make him Jewish. Wh- why? How else will the reader know to despise him? Oh, okay. Um, you know we have talked about this before. Do you remember Fagin? No, 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 no. This is different. In this book, he's visited by good Christian ghosts who show him the error of his Jewishness. His what? Ways. Error of his ways. Okay. Charlie Boy. Um, I mean, I can't believe I'm having this conversation again. It's not the Middle Ages anymore, yeah? It's 1843. Yeah, you can't just go around making every single villain this character Jewish. Here we go. Here come the woke PC brigade with your mid-19th century whinging. Okay, I know you probably think I'm a wet liberal snowflake because I don't go around saying that Jews killed Jesus and that they drink the blood of Gentile babies. You can't say anything anymore without somebody getting offended. Yeah, I'm going to put my foot down on this one. Charles, I'm not getting involved. Okay, okay, okay. I promise I won't overtly state that he's Jewish. And what do you mean by that? I'm going to call him Ebenezer. Just call him Terry or Jim. He's going to be a moneylender. Of course. No, but I just think the main point is that anyone, regardless of their creed, colour, social standing, deserves a life that's free of poverty and destitution. Well, that's great. Let's just go with that angle, yeah? This is a book about compassion. It's about love for one's neighbour. And it'll have a great big pointy nose. Fuck it, I'll give up.